shapes. Hello, people of the interwebs. Today, I'm going to be working on the focus. I'm gonna do some fabricating and some welding, and I have my lovely assistant here, Jeff with three Fs. Say hello, Jeff. He's sleepy. If you're new and you wanna get caught up to what's going on, there's a link to a video up above that'll fill you in. But what I'm gonna be doing is a lot of filling in of my own, of all these holes with this welder over here. So without further ado, let's get straight to work. I'm gonna be using my next door business partner's welder. It's a Handler 190. Apparently it, it can handle 190 of something, I don't know. And the settings I'm gonna have it on is I'm gonna have my wire speed set on 50 and I'm gonna have the voltage set on two. It'd been about six months since the last time I welded, so I had Fred come over from next door to give me a quick refresher course on what I should be looking for while I'm doing this welding. It's kind of tricky because I'm welding such super thin sheet metal on the inside of this car, which isn't really a great thing to learn on, but I gotta get it done anyway. So. One thing I do know is that this is definitely an issue of hand-eye coordination. I know in my head what I'm doing wrong, it's just a matter of making my hands do what I know I should be doing so my welds come out successful. Aside from my welds looking like an eight-year-old did them, it's, uh, it's coming along. Kind of. I'll let you check them out before I grind them off. Cause, well, here I'll show you. These were from the very first time I welded and something Fred pointed out to me is that before I get going and welding everything up in here, I should do an area and then grind all those welds off that area. So that area is done and it won't be such a daunting task when I'm all done and I have a billion welds everywhere that need to be grinded. I definitely appreciate good workflow, so that made sense to me. These down here are the very first ones I started doing and they look absolutely horrible. There's just little clumps everywhere and it sits really high. The thing I was screwing up on the most is I kept moving my hand too quickly and it was just making it really boogery. So I learned to slow down and build those pools up but not too much because then I would have blowouts. Then I moved down over here and you can see some of my pools are starting to get a little bit bigger and a little less clumpier. I think this was one of the best ones that I had turn out right here. I mean, it's pretty flat, it doesn't stick up too much. And then this monstrosity, this I probably should have made a patch panel for, but I decided to try welding it all in and it's, it's filled in at least. It's gonna suck to grind. I like making things difficult and interesting in my life. Let's do some grinding. That sounds sexual. And yes, I was using one of my t-shirts to cover my hair, just so I could keep pieces of slag from landing in it. It worked. I don't even think we're three minutes into the video and it's already the end of the day. I told you this is a ton of labor. I'm hungry. I'll see you manana. It's tomorrow. I got a nanner. I'm just hungry. It's actually a little after lunchtime. I'm gonna show you what I did yesterday while I eat this banana off camera because I'm sure someone's gonna try to sexualize it. How do you sexualize a banana? They're just delicious. Grinding down all these spot welds it was an absolute nightmare. This took so long and the smell of burning metal and paint is still stuck in my nose. Look at what I make. <laughs> Are you just gonna Holy. get Carl's Jr.? Yes. He wants to get in the car. What? <laughs> I figured that I would have Bob Ross over here help me with the art. We're trying to make a template of the patch panel we're gonna put over here on the side. Probably. Oh, ah.
Other than a slight adjustment I gotta do right here, this is a perfect template for the piece of sheet metal that's gonna cover up this area on the back of the car and I can duplicate it so I have the same template for over here on the other side. It's just gonna be the opposite side of it, mirrored shapes. This is a nibbler, not to be confused with nibbler from Futurama. That is a panel. I'm going to nibble the panel. Well, the thing goes really fast. It's, it cuts so good. Like it works super, super, super good. Works good though, right? Yeah. <laughs> that thing's got a steep learning curve, but once you get the hang of it, oh, it's worth it. That thing is so fast. Look, I love how it turned out. I just gotta duplicate it, make another one and make my little tiny panel for the very top corner. But yeah, mm-hmm. One patch panel, and it, it does fit, it just doesn't look like it because this cord is going under it. And the other one. So those are done, and it's the next day. We just finished up our monthly car meet, and I'm sorry if I didn't do a good enough job announcing when it would be. I put it on Instagram. I'll let you know ahead of time in a video next month, promise. This is gonna be tricky. I have to make this Pizza Hut roof shape, but crease it in the center, which I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I trace this directly out on the sheet metal, but I think when I go to bend it, I'm gonna end up using up some of the space of this. So what I think I need to do is actually extend the shape out above it, so that way when I do the crease, I don't lose material. I think that will work. It might be a little overkill, but that's okay, because I can use a little extra down here. Like a prison shank. It'll fit though, watch. I have confidence in this sketchy looking chunk of metal. Ouch. That's gonna fit once I weld that into place and this part that my thumb is on gets bent down behind this panel. That'll work. This is actually really difficult to do considering I don't have a workbench in here yet. I'm pretty much holding everything in my hands and trying to make sure I cut it correctly. So far so good though. I really don't want to screw these up so I'm going to go ask the guy that does body work and painting for a living if he's got a good way that I can bend this without ruining it. So the other day, Fred, Brandon, and Charlie and myself were all talking about getting go-karts because we thought it would be like just fun to each have go-karts and we can just like do go-kart stuff. Charlie just showed up with a go-kart. You don't need no brakes, bro. That is so sick. Look at the blood splatter wheels. So it's a 1975. Oh, those are so cool. What is it called? A Manco Dingo. A ma what? <laughs> yeah, it's from Montgomery Ward back in the day. A Manco Dingo? M-A-N-C-O. Wait, is this a little Honda engine? No, Hellraiser? That's the guy's whole theme that I bought it from. Was it gonna be like Hellraiser, you know, like with the blood splatter and the, I don't know. I mean, it is super cool though. How yeah. many horsepower is that? 
I think it's six and a half. <laughs> this thing is so sick. I love the front tires. It just needs paint, that's all. Yeah, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna probably put smaller tires on the back if we're gonna be ripping around the parking lot. But I'll keep those if we go to the dirt across the street. Aren't Briggs and Stratton motors made in the US? Yeah. I think so, yeah. The older ones were. Made in Japan? I don't know, dude. I must acquire a go-kart now. I have to get to go-kart. This has to happen. Back to work. I tacked it up in the corners to see if that's where I want it, and um, it's, it's not the prettiest. I should cover the glass too before I weld it all the way. I wish I already knew how to weld like really well so I could just knock this out and have it look pretty, but this is the only way I'm gonna learn. I just gotta keep doing it and I can fix my welds with a grinder. Other than the fact that I cut this piece up here a little too short, I think that'll be fine once that's up there nice and smooth. And I can just put a bead of weld right there and then grind it smooth and I think it'll look fine. I'm not a master fabricator, so whatever. I just finished taking the grinder to it so I could see where I needed to re-weld because I had it too hot and it was blasting holes through that little sheet metal panel I made. Sorry for the greeny picture. I'm using an old lens because I don't want to ruin my good one welding. You can see the little tiny holes after I grinded it smooth. I need to fill that stuff in. But yeah, that's what I got so far. I'm gonna get back to work. I can't stop thinking about go-karts. It looks like I I hired ants to attach this piece of metal, but at least you can see the body line. The body line looks good, and I'm going to start filling those in even more. That was after two rounds. I kind of suck at this. I'm trying, all right? I This, this is so much work. It's so time consuming. You have no idea. It's dark out already. Charlie stopped back by with his go-kart because I wanted to take another look at it and this is this is it he brought it inside here it's it's so like 70s looking because this thing is a 1975 it needs to look 70s you need to like put super metallic flaky oh it's paint. gonna have bass boat flake if i could find a seat that was upholstered in the vinyl from like a 19 50s diner you know it's like the ridiculous metal flake vinyl upholstery i would do that too but the tractor seat's gotta go away. Yeah, that looks like a chair from elementary school. It's a tractor seat. Like literally off of like a Ford tractor, I don't know. It needs a stinger exhaust, like the old Volkswagen Baja Beetles that goes like straight up With out the back. a little tractor flap on the top of it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a mint flap. Yeah, <laughs> from Pig. I'm just gonna end this video here because I will have like another four days of labor in this video and then I'll never get a video done. Please bear with me with how much work this is. I, I can't poop out project cars every month of brand new project cars, just me doing this stuff and I'm learning how to weld on it. So try my best. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.